The robots are coming! The robots are coming for our jobs! There's a lot of concern right now with automation and AI and how it's going to start taking over all of the tech jobs and all of the office jobs. I'm not that worried about AI when it comes to engineering, mainly because I've been dealing with automation ever since I started my career. And we have really hit a point with engineering where whenever we get one of these technological innovations, it usually does not lead to doing less engineering. It doesn't lead to less hours of work. Usually it leads to producing a higher quality product with the same level of effort. And I'll give you an example of this. Uh, if I want to, say, take some regulations out of a textbook and then implement those as an actual calculation, I need to turn that into a spreadsheet. So that will be documenting it, writing the actual code, writing the ex explanation equations. The whole process takes me around 30 to 60 minutes to go from text in a book to something I can use. Now, there could very well be an AI in the future where I can just feed it the text and it generates the spreadsheet for me. That's a huge time saver. It's not going to replace me though, because the key innovation here was not me reading a book and turning it into a spreadsheet. The key thing for engineering was knowing where to find that equation in the first place and how to adapt it to the current situation. I don't see AI taking over that part of the job anytime soon but I do see it freeing up more of my time so that I'm doing less of creating spreadsheets and more of finding the right equations and the right spreadsheets to make your boat even more awesome. Thanks very much. I am Nick, the Naval Architect.